Luxia, best performance so far this year. Can we put it all down uh, to AirPods and perhaps this shift Apple is making towards more wearables? Yes, hi, Rich. Mish, uh, yes, uh, the, the, the share price performance of Luxshare has more than tripled this year and outperforming most other stocks in the MSCI Asia Pacific Index. Um, that's because the slowdown of the smartphone this year, so AirPods has quickly become a new growth driver of Apple, with some analysts even seeing that the shipment, the annual shipment of AirPods could rise to as many as that of iPhones in the future. And Luxury stands to be the biggest beneficiary of the trend, as the shipment of AirPods are seen to double this year and may grow another 50% next year to about 90 million units. And the optimism for the stronger demand for AirPods also boosted another Chinese stock, Gore-Tec, that's uh, Luxshare's uh, most close competitors. Cindy, as you say, rising to 90 million in 2020, and I think the forecast for 2021 is something like 120 million AirPods expected to be sold. So you would think that this is going to sustain strength then for this stock. Yes, that's right. People are also seeing that the shipment of AirPods could rise to 120 millions in 2021. In fact, Apple just launched its latest AirPod, AirPod products. It's called their AirPods Pro in October. And it's literally a Santa Claus coming for luxury because it's so popular that it still couldn't meet a strong demand from consumers. And luxury enjoys a major share, if not the only one of the assembling business of the AirPods Pro. And that also leads to a series of upward revision of its earnings estimates from analysts. Um, mm. So analysts are still very bullish on the outlook of Luxshare. The stock has 36 buy rating now with only one for sale rating and one for neutral rating. And it's currently, it still has about 8% potential upside from its 12 month target price. So it seems that this, mm. the strong rally that we've seen this year may sustain into next year.